It was just this week a baby girl was kidnapped from a hospital and a group of young detectives came to her rescue. The frantic search ignited after the day-old infant was snatched by a woman dressed as a nurse. And ABC's Lindsay Janice tells us about the miraculous coincidence. In the arms of this officer, one-day-old baby Victoria being returned to her parents after she was kidnapped just three hours earlier. It was Monday evening. The new parents were cuddling their newborn in their hospital room in Quebec. That's when police say this woman, dressed as a nurse, came in and, according to the baby's uncle, said she needed to take the newborn for a routine test. Thirteen minutes later, the hospital called police, who beamed the security camera image of the woman across the city, while dad posted these photos asking for help. That's when this group of 20-somethings saw the alert on Facebook. They were so moved, they decided to search, hitting the road. When impossible as it may seem, one of them looked more closely at the suspect's picture and realized it was actually an old neighbor who lived here. A call to police, and moments later, officers swooped in and rescued the baby. We saw the baby, we yes. can touch, yes. and uh, we, it was the best moment in my life. Uh, wow. We were crying. Here in the U.S., many hospitals fit newborns with these electronic tags. So if a baby were to be carried out of the maternity ward, an alarm would instantly alarm. sound. Alarm. Exit alarm. Main entrance. So the babies all get a tag. Around. Today at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York, nurses telling us that the bracelets, like the one here on baby Andrew's tiny alarm. ankle, also trigger automatic locks on the ward's doors. The system works. Since the early 1980s, there have been just 132 infants abducted from hospitals nationwide. The Canadian hospital where baby Victoria was born did not have the same level of security. In a letter on Facebook, her parents saying thank you and warning other parents always ask questions, even of those in uniform, writing, I would not like anyone else to live this. Lindsay Janice, ABC News, New York.